It's a little before 8 a.m. on a beautiful Sunday morning here at KGU Honolulu. I hope you're in the mood for a little Glenn Miller and his orchestra. I'm in the mood? <laughs> I don't think you're in sight. Hey, Frankie. <laughs> you got liberty today? Nah. I uh, dressed up just to visit you. I got liberty. I got a breakfast date with a sweet little nurse. <laughs> she wants me to take a temperature, huh? <laughs> but I uh, thought I'd drop by. I owe you six cans of peaches for that crummy full house you bluffed me out on. You for poker tonight? Yeah, I want a rematch. But I heard you're in the market for some pearls for your girl back home. How do you know that? Come here. Well, I can't afford them. Sure you can, Iowa. I can get you a nice string of perfect pearls plucked from the sea by local beauties. 25 bucks. What's in it for you? Your buddies with Rucka works in the office's mess. You get me two nice, thick porterhouse steaks, I get you your pearls. <laughs> you want a steak that bad? Nah, I got another business deal going. <laughs> okay. Probably just some metal debris hitting the ship. Christmas present for my parents. <laughs> oh, you're a real businessman, eh, Frankie? Yeah? How you know? Well, even I heard about Frank Moretti. Huh? You find anything guy would want for a price. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, you, you should understand making a buck. Being a Jew and all. <laughs> yeah, you know what we Jews are. Iowa. Hmm? Tell us. You got a girl back home? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Betty, she's great. Oh, we met in grade school. Actually, oh. yeah, 
she's pretty. Uh, Very uh, pretty. A little hope for you, isn't she? What? <laughs> That's my mom. Betty's the other one. Oh, yeah. She's a looker. Iowa corn fed, huh? Indiana. Wait, <laughs> what? I'm actually from Indiana. Wait, what? Why the hell are you called Iowa? It was a nickname in boot camp and it just stuck. My real name's Jack. So Jack is Iowa from Indiana. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Frank, you got a girl back home? Look, Levine, we're not gonna be buddies, all right? So let's just get along until we get out of here. Jeez, Frankie. Just let it go. It's for you, Frankie. Guard against venereal disease by staying away from easy women. Hmm? Don't gamble your health away. Wait, is that written by the Japs? Make our lives miserable? I mean, where would a good sailor be without a few easy women, huh? I gotta get out of here. First thing I'm doing is heading to the monkey bar to find myself a pretty girl with no morals and a nice caboose. You wanna join me, Iowa? Not for me, Frankie. Not quite like home, but it'll do. I mean, I figure if we get out early, they're gonna give us a little leave, right? So maybe I can make it home for Christmas. Mom would love that. Yeah. Hey, girl, too. Yeah. A week before the big day, my dad gets a tree, if cider and cookies, and decorate it while my little sister plays carols on the piano. It's great. That's, uh, three days from now. Hopefully you'll be back by then. Yeah, of course we will. Maybe we'll even be on your way home. <laughs> Not a chance. Where Navy Transport is? Well, you'll at least be able to call home then. Yeah? When I get home, I'm taking Betty on a sleigh ride. Christmas time, it's beautiful. Lights, snow. Yeah, it sounds nice, Iowa. Yeah, peachy keen. Well, Aaron, you don't celebrate Christmas, right? No. Yeah, we we have Hanukkah. It's kind of like Christmas without Jesus. That's a problem with you people. Christ kill us. All right, that's enough. Okay, I don't care if you don't like me. I really don't care. I'm not taking any more of your sh about my people. Your people are the cause of this whole mess in Europe. What are you insane? What are the Jews responsible for that maniac? Okay, guys, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to know why I signed up for the Navy? Huh? Do you want to know? I could have been a doctor. I could have been accepted into any medical school in the country, but I signed up because all of my relatives in Europe have disappeared. All of them. Their letters stopped, and we can't get any information. We don't know where they are. Stories leak, but... All of them. Hmm? 23 aunts and uncles and cousins just gone. I heard your arm. So I enlisted into the Navy. Because I wanted to be trained and ready to fight for when we finally got into the war in Europe. That day is close. Hmm? If you're not already there. You know what I'm gonna do? When I get out of here, when we get out of here, I'm gonna make my way to Europe. I'm gonna help bring Hitler down. I'm gonna... Do what? Levine? Huh? What are you gonna do? Nothing. You're not going to Europe to fight Hitler? Or, or find your family or anything else? And you? You're not going back to your perfect house with, with your perfect girlfriend and your perfect parents? I mean, don't you guys get it? They're not coming. They're not coming to save us. We've been down here for seven days already. You, you want me to bang? Huh? You want me to bang some more? Huh? It's useless. It's useless. We're gonna die down here. We're gonna die down here, and I'm gonna die with Norman Rockwell and a f***ing Jew. This is perfect. Exactly how my crappy life should end. Just 
just let him go. Don't believe him. I won't. Don't give up, Paul. It's not good. The infection's out of control. His whole arm. He's burning up. What about the aspirin? We've been at it for two days. He has to be hurting pretty bad. He hasn't said anything. Frank, he's not going to make it if he doesn't get help now. Well, that's not going to happen. So, I mean, what are, what are we going to do? You're the one with the medical training. Medical training? Yeah, you, you, you said you had a first aid class. I was a, I was a boy scout. What about taking off his arms? I mean, wouldn't... Wouldn't that stop the infection? Are you crazy? I mean, we, we don't have a knife, we don't have stuff to clean it with, we don't have lights or anything. We... Kill him? I can't help him. Hey, hey. You'll be okay, kid, alright? Okay. Go home. That's all that noise, huh? <clears throat> Am I missing something? Yeah. Just. Just talking. Huh. Is. Anybody have an aspirin? <laughs> yeah, I'll take a lifesaver. Hit. I, I, I got a letter from her. I didn't tell anyone yet. She's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby. I'm gonna be a father. I didn't get to tell her how happy I am. She knows. Grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Oh, I'm a Jew, you idiot. I think God will be okay with me. Hey, hey, I got you. Frankie? Aaron's not looking so good. I should bandage him. Yeah, maybe I'll sit down first. Frankie? 
Frank, did I ever tell you about the first time that I saw Betty? <laughs> it was at the state fair. And she was friends with my cousin, Ima Jean. They were standing in line at the tilt <laughs> She had on this blue skirt and blouse. And it was covered in little tiny rosebuds. She was the prettiest girl I'd ever seen in my life. And I knew right then that I'd marry her. No, I had to win her over. By the end of the summer, she was my girl. She was my girl. Betty, I'm so sorry. Beautiful.